Hello again everybody, my name is Joshlo and welcome to a very quick tutorial video on how I did my right click detection in my Magic Craft in One Command video. Now I had a request on onecommand.com by this person here and he said basically how did I do that. Now I post all my One Command commands on this website along with the base commands which are basically all the commands that I use but not combined. You can find my uh, user at www.onecmd.com forward slash question mark creator equals joshlot. Now joshlot has a capital J. Now let's crack on. Now first of all we're going to need to summon in ourselves an armor stand because basically the way this works is there's constantly a villager being teleported to me and it detects if I right click on him. Now note that whenever I right click on him there is no GUI that pops up and that's because when I summon in the villager I make sure I summon him in without any trades and I'll show you how to do that now but first of all we need to get a base because this is what the villager is going to be teleported to when he isn't teleported to me. So we're going to type in dash summon space armor stand space tilde 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 space squiggly bracket capital C for custom, capital N for name, colon, inverted commas, we're going to call them base for now because it's like the base thing gets teleported to you. and we'll just close that off with another inverted comma and a squiggly bracket, hit enter, and here we've got our little base armor stand here. Now we need to summon in the villager, and to do that we're going to go dash summon space villager space tilde 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 space squiggly bracket. Now here's where we get into all the uh, it's not complicated, it's just where we get into the uh, NBT tags. So, yet again, we're going to give him a custom, custom name. We're going to give him another custom name. We're going to call him R-Click for right-click. So, there we go. Comma. Now, I've given him no AI by typing in no AI, colon one. And that basically is so he doesn't move around or anything. We're going to make him silent as well by typing in comma silent silent like that colon one and now the most important part of this is the offers so we're going to type in offers colon and then just open and close the squiggly brackets so it basically means there is no offers in there and we're going to close off the squiggly brackets and hit enter now you see we've got our little r click villager and when we right click on him nothing happens so now what we're going to need to do is add in the objectives or the scoreboards that we're going to need to do. So first of all, we're going to get in our uh, talking to villager one. So we're going to go dash scoreboard objectives add, and we're going to call it talkville for now because we're talking to a villager. So talkville, and now this is the important bit. Type in after this instead of dummy, which is the conventional. Instead of dummy, which is the conventional dummy objective we make, we're going to make this a stat dot talk to villager objective and hit enter so now what we've done is basically you'll see on the side now uh... where is it that's one so now if we right click on a villager you see a score will be added to our talkville and we keep right clicking more scores will be added now what we need to do is make it so when we hold out our wand which is going to be a stick for now which is here we're going to use the stick and whenever we hold it out, we're going to be given a score. So we're going to go dash scoreboard objectives add and we're just going to call this one hold and it's going to be a dummy objective. There we go. So now we've got the hold on the sidebar but since we don't have a score it's not going to show up. We go back to talkville. So now what we need to do is make it so if we hold out a stick he gets teleported to us. But first he needs to be teleported to the base. So to do this we need to get a command block by typing in dash give at p, type in c-o-double-m, hit tab and hit enter and you'll get yourself a command block. Now I've just set up a just clock over here so over here we're going to be using just a really easy fill clock. So first of all over here we're going to need to add in the TP so we're going to type in dash tp, by the way you don't need to add a dash but I just prefer to just out of habit so we're going to go dash tp at e type equals villager uh, comma name equals uh, what, what do we call him again he was called r click r click to our armor stand so at e type equals armor stand 
name equals base. Add on our redstone block. And now you'll see he'll be teleported to our armor stand here. Now, in my actual command, this is exactly how I did it, but I made them so they're invisible, so you didn't see him. Now, during the video, you might have seen the armor stand fall down from the sky and be visible. I fixed that in the command, but that was just after, because I forgot to make him invisible before. But basically, now what we're going to do is make it so when we hold out our stick, he gets teleported to us. So what we're going to do is add in another command block, and right-click it, and type in dash tp at e type equals villager name equals r click to at a with a score uh, hold min equals one now basically when we're given a score of hold which is going to be when you hold out the stick he'll get teleported to us now we need to make it so we get a score. So I'm going to just turn on the hold objective now. So the way we do this, is we're going to type in uh, dash scoreboard players set at a space hold one. Now. Alone, but doing this alone and t activating it like this is just going to give everyone a score of one, and our villager will teleport around like this. Thanks so much. So I'm going to break that, but we still got a score. So we have to go scoreboard players set at a hold zero. As soon as that happens, he'll be teleported back. First of all, we need to do exactly what I just did then, which is set all the players' hold score to zero. But we're going to do it over here. Because the way this clock works is it does this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. This is going to be the execute one. So basically what's happening is he'll get teleported to us. Uh, yeah, he'll get teleported to us, it'll execute the command, then go off it. So you'll see, actually I've forgotten one bit actually, so I need to add that there. Because we need two more spaces. So what we need to do here, on the very end one, is set our hold to zero. And what that's going to do is basically... Uh, it's going to constantly set our hold score to zero. Now we need to make it so when we hold it out, it does something. So after the hold one, put in a squiggly bracket and type in selected item. Now selected and item have a capital. So selected item, colon, another squiggly bracket, ID, now this is in lowercase, colon, Minecraft, and we're going to make it a stick, and then close it off like so. So now, since this one's getting activated first, whenever we hold this out, nothing happens. Okay, now the problem was I actually got my bearings wrong and that the commands were the wrong way around. So basically what I've changed it to is now the teleporting is over here and the setting hold to zero is on this end now. Now I also made the error of making the teleport to at A, so teleporting it to the player after the armor stand. It needs to be before because it has priority over the other one. Basically, if it's the other way around, what it's going to do is, see when I hold this out, nothing happens. That's because this command block here, which is constantly teleporting it to the base, is going before this one. So we don't want that to happen. So we need to change the priorities around like so. So now when we hold out our stick, our score gets to 1 and the villager will constantly be teleported, oops, constantly be teleported to us like so. Get off it, he'll get teleported back. Now what we need to do is uh, constantly set our, not hold score, but set our torqueville score to zero. Because now what's going to happen is if you turn this on, see how torqueville uh, is 21? As soon as I enable this, it'll be set to zero. Now when I'm holding this out and right click, you probably can't see it, it's, you can't see it because it's going so fast, but I see, you saw it flash there. Basically I'm spam clicking, right clicking him now, and it's adding a score and it's detecting it and it's setting it to zero. So now what we need to do is the final thing is to execute at the player to do something. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in dash execute at a with a score underscore torqueville min equals one. So now it's going to execute if we've talked to him, but we also need to make it so score hold min equals one. So now if we're if we're holding out the stick and we're talking to him, then just as a test, we'll say uh, test. 
and turn that on. Now when we hold it out and right click, I'm right clicking and nothing's happening. Yet another ordering mistake. I've now put the say one at the very end and set the Torqueville and the uh sorry the Torqueville why wait what? The, sorry, the hold and the Torqueville before this one. So now basically uh that's working. So when we hold out the stick and right click, you see in the chat it says test. So that's working. And basically now you can make this do anything. So uh you can summon in things by just going summon pig, for example. Like so. So now if we right if we right click on him. One pig will be summoned in. Do it again. We've got two pigs now, and that's basically the way that will work. Or we can also make it so if we do, if we right-click on him, it'll kill pigs. So, kill type equals pig. So now if we right-click on him, all our pigs will die. We can collect this yummy, yummy raw pork chop and XP. So that's basically the way the right-click detection works. Now, uh, if you want to make your own one command command with this, the layout for this is gonna. Oh, Whoopsie. The layout for this, like the ordering for this, because the ordering is very important, is as follows. So at the top is the uh, setting the hold when you're holding out the stick to one. The second one is teleporting the uh, villager to the base. Because in the way this is ordered, it'll activate them in one, two, three, four, five. So uh, the way it'll work is the setting your player to setting the player score hold one will happen first the second one which is teleporting it to the base will happen second and since that's constantly happening because we don't have a score of one when we're not holding it out is gonna happen first but as soon as you start holding out the stick and you get a score uh, of hold min one then it will teleport it to you because it's after so it'll happen uh, the latest which means it'll be happening the most the fourth one is the execute, so this here will happen before it sets it to zero, and then it'll set it to zero in the same game tick, or I think it's the second game, or the next game tick, sorry. So it'll only happen once. That's basically it. Feel free to drop a like and uh, subscribe if you like the video that much. Uh, that's basically it. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>